I'll go ahead and let Welcome. Welcome to the full moon meditation, November, meeting the cloud people. I bring fresh showers for the thirsting flowers. From the seas and the streams, I bear light shade for the leaves when laid in their noonday dreams. From my wings are shaken the dews that waken the sweet buds, every one. When rock to rest on their mother's breast, as she dances about the sun, I wield the flail of the lashing hail and whiten the green plains under, and then again I dissolve it in rain and laugh as I pass in thunder. Percy Shelley. So welcome everyone, and welcome to this gathering and welcome to this new series of full moon circles. So this, the full moon in Taurus, the beaver moon or frost moon, and today's total lunar eclipse. So yes, we're in this time of great cleansing and uh, intensity around our emotional landscapes. So I hope that this next hour together can be um, a kind of break from any other uh, cosmic uh, situations of, of today. And thank you for joining us on, on Zoom. So this is our second call on Zoom. So it will remain a, an audio only experience. Um, as yeah, this is really an invitation for it to be deeply immersive. So um, yeah, welcome. My name is Abby and I am one of the team at Tree Sisters and I really want to invite you into this soft and sacred sanctuary togetherness for the next hour. And if you're new here and wondering what the full moon meditations are, are about and why do we gather like this, so it's really a, an opportunity to come together across the planet come together in community, to feel each other under the bright light, the full moon. It's an opportunity for us to listen to the self-organizing intelligence of the body, to reconnect with our sensory selves and to remember our elemental nature. And so we find ourselves a little deeper into the dark, a little closer to winter in the northern hemisphere, and gently opening out into emergence in the southern hemisphere. So today is this chance to, to gather under the light of the full moon, to be in community, and to pause just for a little bit of time together. So as you probably know, Tree Sisters primary reason for being, Tree Sisters mission is to reinstate a culture of reciprocity with nature. So we're making it as normal to give back as it currently is to take. And so these calls are free if you need them to be. They're also an invitation to give back. So I'd love to invite everyone here to give back to the trees and if you're not already a monthly donor, do you consider, yeah, start signing up to become one? So you can start a heartbeat of giving back to the forest. So this is a second in the new series exploring the relationships that we have with the more than human community around us. And these meditations and co-creative poetry practices 
are designed to reconnect us to an aliveness, both personal within us and also collective. They are really a call to engagement, to love and care with all of this world. I'm beginning last month with becoming relational to the rocks and stones. And I wonder how many of you who were here were able to go out and spend some time with the rocks and the stones over this last month. And today we'll be continuing by opening our eyes to the sky beings and specifically this month, the clouds. So before I share a little bit more about what will happen in the call, I'd love to hear from some of you and why, why you've joined, what called you to join the call today and where you are in the world. So if you'd like to come and write your name in the chat where you are, it would be a joy to connect with you all. And particularly if this is your first time here. So welcome Laura in Colorado, Sherry in Belize, Anita in Brighton. If this is your first time, welcome Anita. I'm just very close to Brighton myself. Alison in Newbury. Screen moved very quickly. Sue in Somerset. Irene in the south of France. Rhiannon near Bath in the UK. Last month, my first time spoke to my heart so powerfully. Well, welcome back, Rhiannon. It's really good to have you here again. Judith from East Yorkshire. Sani from Denmark. Joanne from Toronto, Canada, Gayla in Woodstock, Caroline on the South Coast. I love these beautiful poetic group connections. Welcome Caroline, Bethany in Oregon, welcome Bethany, Tara in Istanbul, wishing to dance with sisters on this eclipse moon, Katrina in England, goddess shining in my window, I'll be with my sisters. Yes, so some of us might be able to see the moon. I saw it earlier. It's very cloudy again now. Joanne from Toronto, welcome. Felicitas in London, Mandy in Weymouth. Marla, your first time from right at London, welcome. Definitely the clouds are so beautiful today, the light breaking through after days of rain. Yes, I've <laughs> spent the last couple of weeks very obsessed with the clouds. <laughs> so, uh, Daniela, welcome from Yamanashi in Japan, the wilds of Yamanashi. Ogden, Pennsylvania, planting seeds, sending prayers, participating in healing, this reciprocity really resonates. So good to hear that. Simone of Germany. Ah, oh, welcome. We're really covering all times of day and night. Simone from South Africa, your first time here. Welcome, Simone. I know you've been a true sister for a long time. Suraha, I apologize if I haven't said your name right, from the Netherlands. Super, your first time here. So, yeah, welcome, everyone. So I'm just going to tell you a little bit more about what's going to happen in this call, particularly if you haven't joined one of these before. So in the moment, there will be an invitation to settle into yourself, to settle into the wider circle of this community, to find comfort and safety for your body in the physical environment that you're in. And then we will journey together. And at various points, I'll give specific invitations for you to come and share what you're noticing, what's arising in your body, and to come and share in the chat box. So if you haven't found the chat box, then it's just along the bottom of the screen where it says chat, and you can click on that and it will, it will open so it's available for you there. And yeah, these invitations to share are 
yeah, just really about what is waking up through your body. And if you're new to these calls, these are the sharings that form the basis of our co-created community prayer. Today, we will be dedicating to the clouds. So your participation in the weave of this prayer together is, is really welcome in whatever way feels comfortable. And it, but if it does feel available, then please do come and share in the chat when you're invited to. It's not, it's entirely your own noticings, your own descriptions, sensations, so that it's not possible to, to get it wrong. Um, and these, yeah, you're, you're welcome as you listen to move your body in any way that really helps you to access felt sensations. So. You might want to dance or sway, roll or stretch, uh, or as I'm guiding you, just simply rest back and be comfortable. So just tuning into what your body most needs, what will enable you to access the unique experience within your body and feel held here in the togetherness of this community. So let's begin by settling in. Let's land in ourselves. And just remembering that invitation to arrive here in our whole messy, beautiful, complex bodies and souls. That we don't need to be any particular way just however you are in this moment is absolutely welcome. And whatever your reason for being here, it's a great reason. And there is a seat in this circle for you. And just being aware that sometimes as we enter our felt sense, it's possible that we might come close to ourselves in a particular way meaning stuff might arise. And as we've said, your vulnerability, your tenderness, your anger, your grief, it's all welcome here. But if at any point it feels too much or overwhelming for you to hold, please do find a way to come back to just noticing the contact with the ground, with your own fingertips, and this is really an invitation to, to honour your unique experience. So if you do feel agitated or lost, just bringing your awareness to the ground. Let's take a breath together. To bring your attention into your body away from all those practical invitations and instructions and just drop into yourself now. Noticing your heart, your belly, your feet. Just beginning gently to notice your body right here and right now as it is full of sensations and wisdom. And whatever sensations you're noticing, just allowing them to be. Offering yourself validation for your own experience in this moment. Opening your awareness now to include the shared space of all of us around the world, joined in this exploration. And then expanding your awareness wider still including now the bigger relational web of life, containing us, meeting us, 
loving us exactly as we are. And gently returning your focus back in towards yourself. Notice your breathing. Notice the movement of air coming in and out of your body. Feel for where you would locate your centre in this moment. Whilst also locating in your felt sense, the tips of your fingers, the tips of your toes and the top of your head. And feeling for a place of resource, somewhere in your body that feels warm and comforting. Or if that's not available, then somewhere that feels neutral. And noticing how that is to experience that place. And just knowing if at any point you can return your attention here to land and ground. And perceiving the whole form as you allow for the in-breath to widen you, to expand you, and the out-breath to fill in the space that you made with the in-breath. Inviting this as a way of inhabiting yourself just a little more with each breath. Here I am right now in this body. And just connecting your inner world with the outer world through this bridge that is your voice. Just feeling if you need to let out a yawn or a sigh. Making that connection from inner to outer. And then we're going to begin by finding ourselves in a vast and expansive landscape. The kind with never ending skies. Perhaps the top of a mountain, looking across a valley, perhaps a desert on top of the cliff or the roof of a really high building, or perhaps a long stretch of beach, somewhere real or imagined gives you access to a huge sky. Take a moment to just locate yourself here. And wherever you find this landscape to be, beginning by opening your senses to all that you're encountering. Tuning with your eyes, with your sight. Noticing first, how do your eyes feel? Maybe they're responding to the level of light. 
Are they curious? Do they long to see more? Or perhaps they're overwhelmed and would like to see less. As you're paying attention, just notice if it is night or day. As you look at your sky, or perhaps you're on the cusp of day or night. There are clouds in the sky, but what can you see close by? Close up clouds, distant clouds. Widening your attention further to the other senses. Are there any smells present? Perhaps it seems not at first, but allowing any more subtle or passing fragrances to be received. Possibly they're also perceived as taste. Noticing your tongue in your mouth as you attune more and more to this landscape. And what can you hear in this place? Traffic noise, bird song, crashing waves perhaps, sound of rain, other animals. Just noticing if there's any emotional response you might have to the layers of sound, possibly the lack of sound here. Really your sensory body gradually becoming more and more alive. And this element of air that you're within is surrounding you. How is it touching you? How does it make contact with your skin? How are you touching it? What is it really like to open your senses to this vast space of, of sky, to become present to the clouds? And just finding any words that come close to describing the experience of awakening your sensory body and then coming and sharing those words in the chat. What's it like to come alive through the senses in the presence of the clouds? Just gently coming to the screen and adding some words of your experience whilst not disturbing yourself too much and then coming back into yourself finding your place again under this vast sky and so the sensate body is enlivened And we can bring our focus more into the cloud beings. As we call on wonder and curiosity to be our guides in recognizing our relationship to clouds. So let's consider what a cloud actually is. It's a gathering of water drops or ice crystals suspended in the atmosphere. Just letting that description land in your body a moment, coming together of water or ice, 
suspended in the atmosphere. Suspended. How do these words, suspended in the atmosphere, how do they land in your body? The images arise. What does that mean to you, that gathering, that suspension? Again, noticing anything that's present and finding words that come close to describing what you're noticing. And coming and sharing again in the chat. Taking in a few words. Coming back. Staying inside your close to your experience. So these clouds, these gatherings in the sky, the many different types, the shapes, the sizes, the colours, the ways they're moving, the speed they're moving. What are you noticing in your sky? Are these Low clouds, strata cumulus, stratus cumulus, as low even as fog, or the mid level clouds, the alto cumulus, the alto stratus, nimbo stratus, the high clouds, cirrus, cirro cumulus, cirro stratus, maybe a blend of them all. And considering these beautiful Latin names for the clouds, Cirrus flocus, Nimbo stratus, Alto strato mutatus, Cirrus vibratus, Cirro cumulus castellanus, Alto cumulus stratiformis, Cumulus mediocris, Strato cumulus lenticularis. Alto cumulus volutus, nimbo stratus, cumulo genitus, and so, so many more. All these beautiful names describing the shapes to the thin and wispy cirrus clouds that are often curving with the wind, the huge, fluffy cumulus clouds making puffy, soft shapes in the sky, or sometimes creating stripes. Or the sheets of cloud, the stratus clouds, flat, layered and smooth, covering the whole sky. So these clouds that you're in the company of right now, what is the mood of them? Finding words that come close to describing them and their mood. Your description of how they're appearing to you. What's coming and sharing in the chat. Perhaps their colours, their shapes. Just feeling for a moment. what their mood, their atmosphere might be. I'm coming to share that with us all in the chat before bringing your attention back inside your own experience again. And as you return back yourself under this vast expanse of sky. Notice how you're impacted by the mood and atmosphere of these cloud beings you are with. Noticing your own emotional landscape right now and just observing. Whatever you notice is perfect and acceptable.
perhaps you have a sense of where different types of clouds are living inside your body. These accumulations of water, like dense rain clouds, or soft fluffy clouds, taking various shapes inside you, misty wisps, or even drizzly fog. Just noticing these impressions anywhere that they might arise, feeling how the outer landscape that you're observing is also existing within you in some way. You're drifting your attention to the internal landscape back skywards again encountering the cloud community once more. And these clouds that you can see outside of you, these clouds had a voice and could speak, or they could make a sound. What might they express? Or if you had something to express to the cloud. What are you called to share? And just trusting anything that's arising, coming and sharing in the chat. Noticing anything you want to express, it's anything cloud wants to offer to you. Coming fully relational in this moment. This moment of reciprocity with the cloud people. Another moment of appreciation for those communications and that intimacy that you've shared. And now I want to invite you to rest. And perhaps imagining lying back into the fluffy warmth of a soft summer cloud in a blue sky. Letting yourself feel the support of this new friend. Requesting somewhere to rest amongst this community of cloud beings. And then as you come to stillness, I want to invite you to receive the words of our beautiful co-created offering cloud beings. We're resting now, ready to receive all the clouds. It feels expansive. The sound of the wind fills my ears, moving into celestial realm, moving into celestial realm, floating naked on the clouds, cool mist on my skin, the breeze, the breeze, a sense of vitality and surrender, a sense of vitality and surrender. Maybe I can fly, Maybe I can fly, drawing breath together with a community of women, both powerful and true. 
The sound of the wind fills my ears. It feels expansive. Stillness. Stillness, the cool of the dusk, is refreshing. The cool of the dusk is refreshing. The gushing waves of this ocean envelop me. Deep longing for these big expanses more often. Deep longing for these big expanses more often. Feeling easy, open breath and relaxation. I feel excited. I feel excited. Breathless, formless, limitless, stillness. Maybe I can fly. Maybe I can fly. Alive. Alive. I am part of the sky. It is caressing me gently. The cool of the dusk is refreshing. Home. Home. Like a child feeling my senses awakening, home. Floating, gentle pulsating as if joining with the whole. Like a child feeling my senses awakening, laughter bursting forth from tears being held, safe, protected. I feel one with the landscape, Pine scent and butterscotch with ponderosa pine scents fill my nostrils. The wispy clouds are so ephemeral, appearing and vanishing, floating despite gravity. I am part of the sky. It is caressing me gently. I am part of the sky. It is caressing me gently, breaking the sadness inside of me. Breaking the sadness inside of me, trust in being held by something vast lightness of being, being held, safe, protected, lightness of being, trust in being held by something vast, like a child feeling my senses awakening, floating, gentle pulsating as if joining with the whole, cuddled by clouds, cuddled by clouds, pretty pink soft underbelly at sunset, Cuddled by clouds, swelling of contented love, lightness of being, letting it flow freely from me, letting it flow freely from me, swelling of contented love, lightness of being, floating despite gravity, trust in being held by something vast. Pretty pink, soft, underbelly at sunset. Shape shifters, water bearers. Shape shifters, water bearers, the artist of the sky. Feeling moist and glistening. Feeling moist and glistening, shape shifters. Expressions. Blue, grey, and bright white. Blue, grey and bright white water bearers, stormy clouds, stormy clouds, buoyant, expansive, stretched across the sky, stretched across the sky, impermanence. What do you see in the clouds? What do you see in the clouds? Playful pattern stretches across the whole sky. Calm beauty, playing peekaboo with Lady Luna, release of tension, cool down, cool down, show me how to reach out with fearlessness, natural worship dance, worship, worship, let yourself be held by the sky, let yourself be held by the sky, come fly with us, can fly with us emotional turbulence, emotional turbulence, transmutation, transmutation, natural worship, dance, cleansing my etheric body, stretched across the sky. The swirling grey black swirls around my vertebra, soul scouring, cleansing my etheric body, allowing me to be present, impermanence, impermanence allowing me to be present, 
release of tension. Cool down. Cool down. Show me how to see through the dark. Show me how to reach out with fearlessness. Emotional turbulence. Emotional turbulence. Transmutation. Twirl. Transmutation. Come fly with us. I am the clown. Permeable. Open. Flowing. Permeable. Open, flowing, we are transforming, changing and dancing constantly, so can you. We are transforming, changing and dancing constantly, so can you. My soul has wings. My soul has wings. Come swirl with us. Come swirl with us. You are the formless. You are the formless dance. Allow yourself to change. You are beautiful as you are in each moment. Dance. Avail. Feel your lightness of being. You are the formless. You are beautiful as you are in each moment. Expansion and retraction and boundless heart connection. Avail. Come, swell with us. My soul has wings. My soul has wings, natural worship, dance, worship, worship, cool down, cool down, I am the clown, permeable, open, flowing, let yourself be held by the sky, play me peekaboo with Lady Luna, playful dancer, playful dancers, buoyant, Expansive, floating despite gravity, lightness of being, being held, swelling of contented love, swelling of contented love, letting it flow freely from me, being held and wrapped in love, being held and wrapped in love, being held safe, protected, breaking the sadness inside of me. Breaking the sadness inside of me, laughter bursting forth from tears. Home. Home. Alive. Cool of the dusk is refreshing. Deep longing for these big expanses more often. Flushing waves of this ocean. Envelop me in stillness, moving into celestial realms, floating naked on clouds, cool mist on my skin, the breeze, the breeze, blue, grey and bright, white, cuddled by the clouds. Expressions, expressions, the artist of the sky, buoyant, expansive, mid-morning with Clouds thick and round, occasionally letting the light through, wrapping themselves around the mountain. After frightening washes of rain today, now there is a pure full moon bathing my face from a clear sky. Playful dancers, playful dancers, restless, ever changing, responsive to sun and earth, calm beauty, playful pattern stretching across the whole sky, calm, beauty, playful, dancers, impermanence, joyous creativity, a feather, vertebra, cotton wool, delicate brush stroke, stretched across the sky, restless, bonding, Freely wrapped in love, pretty pink sunset, shape shifted, feeling moist, lightness, like a child being held, ephemeral. 
feel one. I feel one safe, whole, vast, protected, floating, excited, longing, gushing waves, celestial realm, sound of the wind towards my ear, community of women, stillness, stillness, cool, expansive, feels powerful and true, powerful and true, longing, breathless, formless, limitless, home, home, held, swelling with contented love, love, an artist of the sky, expressions, playful dances, worship, dance, Emotional, fearlessness. We are transforming, we are transforming. Transmutation, transmutation. My soul has wings, my soul has wings. You are the formless dance. Allow yourself to change. Dance, twirl, let yourself be held by the sky. Dance, worship, fly, sky. Dance, etheric, body, beauty, playful, contented, Love, flow freely from me, whole, safe, protected, trust, trust, I am part of the sky, I am part of the sky, it is Caressing me gently. Deep longing, breath, relaxation, lie, vitality, surrender, home. Feels powerful and true and true. And true. Just in these words, wash over you and in your body, over your body, through your being. Just very gently bringing your attention back into your body, noticing something about the space that you're in right now, or maybe taking a little yawn or a stretch. Just reflecting on how it was to hear your words amongst others' words. The experience of receiving this prayer offering to the clouds as a whole. And you gently bring yourself back into your space right now. Feeling the support of the ground, 
in the contact that you've made with the earth right now. And yeah, just as a little process of integrating and returning to our circle together, I'd love to invite you to come and share in the chat anything that you're kind of experiencing now, where you're at, anything that you would, that would feel helpful to be spoken and integrate the experience of becoming relational here with the clouds. Coming and adding anything into the chat. to hear each other's voices as we come towards the end of our time together. Alison, I love the collage of images and sensations conjured up through our collective words. Yeah, me too. I feel connected to all of you through the movement of the wind, sharing our messages across the oceans. Thank you, Bethany. Simone, beautiful poem. Laura, initially I felt separate from the clouds, describing them as objects, and now I am a cloud, I am everything. Beautiful. Sue, feeling held by the clouds. Marla really helped my whirlwind of emotions feel held. It's really good to hear, Marla. Thank you. Rhiannon, I feel the earth is telling me, reminding me, I am as I should be. I am as important in creation as everything else. Thank you everyone for all that you are. You help me be all that I am. Beautiful reflection, Rhiannon, thank you. Anna, my sadness is softened into deep relaxation. Beautiful. Oh, I was drawing as the meditation was going on and I loved it. Oh, wow. I'd love to, uh, love to see your drawings of uh, you are open to sharing them. Thank you. It's just need to connect with all the clouds around the earth. Such a wisdom. Thank you. Thank you, Arasi. Caroline, the sky has come into my living space. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, Anita, I enjoyed the feeling of being in the sky with the clouds, hearing everyone's experiences connecting us. Anita, thank you. Julia, I love our mama clouds. Laura, feeling so much gratitude for the clouds and this lovely group. It's really good to hear from you all and how that's landing. And yeah, similar to being more closely connected to my soul journey. Thank you for sharing, Katie. Yeah, similar to last month, I would um, yeah, love to invite you to spend some time with clouds over the next month, coming into relationship and connection, whatever way feels good with you, uh, to just yeah, take yourself out to a place. If you have access to some vast spaces, that would be wonderful. Um, if not a window where you can see the sky. Um, and just, yeah, really intentionally making contact with the clouds, being with them, getting to know them, making an offering, singing to them, drawing with them. So, yes, as we said last month, our attention is really the purest form of love. So showing up and being present and, yeah, just recognising that becoming relational to these cloud beings it might just connect us to who we are beyond material space and time and this sense of ourselves of what we think we are we might be much much more so yes it will be out much more now and yes being present to the clouds lovely thank you julia so yeah i just want to 
also thank Tara for holding the steady ground and the magic of the beautiful screensaver. Um, and just, yeah, being, being there um, in support of me. And yes, thank you, Tara. So the recording will be shared on the Full Moon page if you want to listen again. And wishing you, yeah, many blessings for this moon and this lunar eclipse. And may its light gently warm you onwards um, into the changing season. And then next month in December, we will be exploring becoming relational to the insect beings, our insect friends. So I really hope that you will join me then. And I thank you so much for being here today. And yes, sending you all full moon blessings and wishing you well into your days and your nights. And I look forward to seeing you in December.